After a Saturday night off, it's Sunday night hockey for the Manchester Storm. They face the Coventry Blaze, who shut out the Sheffield Steelers yesterday. It's a good opportunity to break away. Scarcella sends it round. Now an opportunity behind the back of the net. What can they do here? Chance out in front. Good save, Stewart. Danger not cleared. Storm hold with passion. Good power play so far. Shooting lane opens again and eventually Stewart hangs on and there's a push and a shove. Noble involved. Pasha jumps in as well. Chance at the top. Phillips, fake shot, moves it to this right side. Carrier works this one again. Another shooting opportunity comes and goes. Now the Blaze will try and break away. Phillips gets back well. Here's Carrier. Pulls this one back. Stewart again. Does he hang on? He does just. Good pass from Phillips. Now that opens up. What a chance this is. Saved again by Stewart. And he pounces on the rebound. Well, Storm have created plenty of opportunities so far. Now on the back foot. Centering feed comes across. Shooting chance off the post. Oh, that was close. But now break back the other way. Siska. Little pass play in front. Doesn't go all the way through. Davis battles. Pulled across. Oh, yes! Scarcella scores! And a Coventry Blaze find themselves behind the Storm on the board first. This is all about the hard work. Davies and Cowley battling and Scarcella found in front. See this one more time. Lovely feed and Scarcella fully focused on his goal. Salazar spreads it wide. Salazar again. Shot goes in front. It's a big battle brewing. Valabic has hold of Patton here. Well, are they going to go? Big Boris loses his helmet and he's throwing punches. Well, there's not a great deal that Patton can do. And Valabic is not happy. And now he wants to try and get at Didiomete. Huge, huge figure. Finally, they're going to calm down. Berzic. A few problems clearing the zone here. Carry it. Oh, that's a slash. Lozon goes down and the penalty's coming. Tom Darnell, the referee. He's gone. Matt Carrier kicked out of the game for slashing. And now a five-minute power play for Coventry. Valchuk with a shot. Stewart hangs on. Tormann sends this one in. Second opportunity. He's going to come and they score. Siska pumps it home. How crucial will that goal prove to be in this one? Tormann looks up here. And as the rebound pops out, Siska from one knee finishes off. 
And the Storm lead by two. Here's Scarcella. Scarcella. Skates so well. Trying to wrap around. What a stop. I think that was Kevin Noble back. Could be another chance here. Giveaway. Fake shot. Coventry really pushing on. Second chance comes here as they crash hard to the net. The whistle blows. Nets off its moorings and we'll get a stoppage. Salazar can't clear the zone. Now he'll get a second chance. Voucher feeding it to the middle. Opportunity back door. Can they finish? Nets off its mooring again. Scarcella hammering hard to the net. Big hit, Didier Mete. Arms up. And a penalty's coming. Another penalty kill for the Storm to try and negotiate. Blaze pressing on. Godfrey. Block shot kept in the zone just. Now it comes out. Here's Trim. Trim scores. Cuts the deficit in two. And we're up for a grandstand finish here. Neil Trim finishing off. Well, the net's empty. Coventry giving it everything, but the storm resilient so far. And that'll do it. Zane Kalemba flips the puck away. Back-to-back -back wins. A Sunday night to savour for the Manchester Storm with victory over the Coventry Blaze. So back-to-back -back wins, how does it feel? Uh, it's a good feeling, good feeling. Uh, you know, we only had one game this weekend, so we knew the importance of the games. The game uh, standing-wise, so uh, it's, a, it's a big two points for us. Particularly because of the fact that Coventry are, are down there right now. Does it feel like you, you've been able to make a big jump forward? I think points-wise, obviously, look at the standings. The importance of the game was, uh, was huge, and, uh, and the performance was good. I, I thought we played a, a, a decent game. Uh, you know, we, we did the little things right, and uh, you watch the last, uh, last two games, we really committed more defensively, which is uh, great to see from the forwards and defense. The Zane has been, uh, been great the last two games, too, so... Uh, it's good to see our performance, allowing only one goal a game in the last two games. It's, uh, it's good to see. You had to come through some adversity as well. How concerned were you when you had that big kill? Uh, very concerned. Obviously, five minutes, uh, it was a, you know, it's a long period of time. But you know, uh, we've been good on the PK recently. We've been really good. Guys are getting in lanes. We're dropping down really in the slot when any shot is, is there. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting the pucks out. Um, so it was, it was a big kill for us. We had a few other big kills during the game. Unfortunately, we gave up one PK goal, but you know what, I, all in all, the PK was good tonight. You played the best part of two games now with just four defensemen. How hard is that on the body? You, you're logging ridiculous ice now. Yeah, I mean, uh, for a coach, sometimes it's, it's tough to get all that ice time because you, you try to coach at the same time. But uh, I'm lucky to have Mike for the last two, three weeks now uh, just helping out and behind the bench controlling the forwards. And it can just allow me to play. And I think our defense realized, uh, you know, when we drop down to four, we can't play the same way. We got to maybe stay at home a bit, you know, stay def defensively sound and not really worry about the offense. And uh, I'll have to say that the three, the three defensemen, Ch Chile, Paul Phillips and uh, Rick, played an excellent game tonight and were excellent last week too. In terms of the performance tonight, what did you see? Uh, you know what, we came in off the bus and we did it. We didn't have a very good first period. We were hemmed in our zone and you know, it took until it pretty much took until we got that five-minute power play in the second period, where we decided to turn things around and start playing better. And you saw in the third period we were pressuring. They got that goal at the start of the period, which you thought it would like deflate us, but we kept coming. We came on strong, but it was just too little, too late, and you can't leave it. You can't leave it like that. 
They make it difficult as well, don't they, Manchester, with the way that they attack you. Lots of two-on-ones. They'll, they'll try and get as many breakaways as possible. Yeah, well, it's, they, they don't play like every other team in the league. They, they cheat all over the ice, and uh, it's tough to play. If, if we're not going to bury our chances, they have guys behind our defensemen, and we need to we need to be we need to be we need to score on our chances like we because we do get chances every time we play this because Kalemba played well but we have to bear down and uh, start scoring goals and then like tonight because we needed the two points you know because we're right behind them in the standings. Does it feel a little bit right now like you're starting to slowly but surely find your identity again? Yeah, it does. You know, I I, I, try, I try to make it like I never have, but yeah, times were tough and that's just how that's the way hockey is sometimes and it's it's, it's the crappy part about hockey but. You know, I stuck with it, and just, I just want to keep working on my game. And I think the better I play, the more it'll help the team every night a chance to win. Do you prefer a 10-shot night or a 45-shot night? Uh, I think usually when I'm getting 30, 35 plus shots a night are my best nights. So, but you know what? That's the thing about being a good goalie is when you're not facing that much action, you're facing 25 shots a night, 20 shots a night. That's when you need to be on because that's when your team needs you the most.